So recently on this channel, I posted a video about how to create digital products using DeepSeek AI. Now, one of my viewers commented asking me how to create an ebook and how to format it. I've actually made over $11,000 selling ebooks and digital products, and I'm currently making about $100 to $200 per day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create an ebook from scratch and start selling it so you can make $200 a day, just like I do. So first of all, we're gonna to go to DeepSeek and we're gonna ask it for some ideas of what are the most popular and profitable digital products that are selling online right now. So my prompt is, I want to sell an educational digital product online. Please tell me the top 10 most searched digital product niches in the educational space that people are searching for on Google and YouTube. I want to sell my digital products online, rank higher in Google search results and earn revenue from organic traffic. And then I'm gonna click this button here and see what search results it gives us. So now it's just thinking and it's doing a lot of research to find out what the most profitable and popular digital products are that are selling online right now. So now it's given us a list of the top 10 educational digital product niches. Number one is AI and machine learning courses, coding, programming, boot camps, digital marketing certifications, YouTube and content creation mastery, language learning apps and tools, personal finance and investing, mental health and productivity, niche hobbies such as music and photography. For me, personally i would probably choose something like youtube and content creation mastery or personal finance and investing or graphic design and canva templates for the sake of this video and to get a little bit creative i'm just going to choose personal finance and investing now when choosing a topic for your ebook it's important to make sure you choose something you're actually passionate about something that aligns with your personal skills experiences and interests this way you'll be able to stay consistent and stick with it long enough for it to actually be profitable and successful. Just to let you know guys, in March I'm launching the Digital Product Academy, teaching creators how to launch their first digital product, attract customers and generate sales on autopilot. If you join the waitlist now, it's 90% off and if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So now we've got the idea for our ebook, we are going to start creating our ebook and we're going to be using drumroll, Google Docs. Now, most people overcomplicate the process when it comes to creating ebooks, but you can very easily create an ebook using a simple platform like Google Docs. So, to start creating the ebook, first we're going to click on blank document. So, first of all, we're going to start with the title and the cover for our ebook. So, first of all, we're going to click on insert table. And now we've got this table section here. We want to stretch this out so it covers the entire front page and just drag it down to about there. So inside of this, now we want to put our title. So for me, my title is going to be personal finance and investing for beginners. I just want to make sure that that text is central and then I'm going to drop this down and then I'm going to make sure that this text is in the middle. Now for the text itself, I probably want to put this in a header font. So I'll click here, then I'll click on title, apply to title, then I'll make that bold and then I would choose the Roboto font, semi bold. And then I'll just make that a little bit bigger as well. And then just click on the side here, click table options, color, point and then just change that off so now it gets rid of that little border the next thing we want to do is add an image for our cover so to do this i'm just going to go to adobe firefly because you can create ai images for free so i'm just going to go to this section here where it says image and then in this section i'm going to give it a prompt to create me an ai image for the front cover of our ebook for the cover i want to use something inspirational and it relates to the desired outcome of somebody that would be interested in investing and personal finance. So I'm gonna put create me a landscape image of a beach, blue ocean, palm trees, and clean sand. And then I'll just click generate and see what images it comes up with. So I'll probably click this one here. So I will click download and then use that image. Next thing I want to do is place the image. So I'll click here and then I'll click on this icon, insert image, upload from computer. Now, as you can see, it's not formatted correctly. So I just want to change the size of it a little bit first. So I'm just gonna click on the image, drag this down to here, drag this down a little bit, drag this down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna click on this tab here, which says behind text. Now, just to make it stand out a little bit, I will probably make this text white so you can actually see it. 
And then I would just move that up a little bit as well. Just to make it stand out a little bit better, I'm also going to write this in capitals as well. So personal finance. So I'll just drop that down so it's level here. So yeah, it's not the best. Of course, you can adjust the design to make the fonts and the image stand out. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep it short and simple so you can see how to create the cover for your ebook. So next, we're going to start adding in our titles so we can start adding the content into our ebook. First, I'm going to put table of contents so we've actually got a first page that shows the contents inside of our ebook and then we're going to start adding our page numbers and filling out the content so for the sake of this video i'm just going to be adding four pages to my ebook so we we'll scroll down here click to the next page then we're putting the intro the next page chapter one just making sure that this is on 20 so it can actually be seen chapter two then scroll down to the next page chapter three and then one more for chapter four. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you update the fonts for each chapter page. So when we go to the table of contents, it updates it automatically. So we scroll down and we're gonna click on this. We just wanna click on heading, update to match. And then for the font itself, we wanna click on Roboto Semi Bold. Scroll down again to chapter one. Go to here, click on heading, update heading one to match. And then the title again, Make sure the font is Roboto Semi Bold and you just want to do that for each one just so that when we start to update our title of contents, it does this automatically. So there's chapter four. Just want to put this to 20. Chapter three, heading, update to match. Make sure the font is Roboto Semi Bold. Chapter four, heading, update to match. The font is Roboto, semi-bold, and that's 20 again. Now to insert your table of contents, you simply click here underneath table of contents, click insert, scroll down, and here you can see table of contents. You just click that and it will automatically update your table of contents. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So I'll highlight the table of contents menu and then I'll just update that so it's bigger so now you can see we've got a full structure for an ebook we've got the front cover table of contents intro chapter one chapter two chapter three and chapter four so now we have the entire structure now we can start filling it in with our actual content for the sake of this video this is just an example but i'm going to be filling it in with some example content so first of all i'm going to fill in my intro i'm just going to make that a little bit bigger i'll make that to around 20. And as I say, of course, this is just an example for your personal ebook. You fill it out with the relevant content, making sure you add your personal experiences and the content and chapters that is relevant to your personal situation. So now once we've got the chapters and the content inside of our chapters, we're going to start adding pictures into the ebook just to make it more interesting. So to add pictures, simply you want to click on the left hand side of your text here. Then you want to click on insert image, upload from computer. First, I'm just going to add this image of me with my sons. Now to make sure the image formats correctly and fits in with the text, we want to click on this tab here, which says wrap text. So we'll just click on that. Make the image a little bit smaller. And as you can see now, it's actually wrapped in with the text of that chapter. And you can just change the size a little bit if you want. I'll probably make that a little bit smaller. And yeah, that's the first image. And then you would just repeat the process again. If you want to add another image, you just click on upload picture. Again, you just format the picture so you make sure it fits in with the text on your page. Click here, wrap text. Then you would make the image a little bit smaller. Just pull it up a little bit more. Move up the chapter a little bit. Maybe stretch that image out a little bit. And as you can see, the picture is inserted here and the text is wrapped around the picture. Now you can repeat that for the entire process and add images for each of your chapters. So now you can see the ebook is completed. I'm just going to leave the last couple of pages without pictures just for the sake of this video. But now once your ebook is completed, you can see you've got the front cover, table of contents, intro, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. So the ebook is completed literally in the space of five minutes. Obviously, again, making sure the ebook is relevant to your situation and making sure you add the personal strategies and tips that you use for the topic that you're teaching. And once your ebook is created, we can move move on to the next stage and start selling our ebook. Now to format the ebook and start selling it, all you need to do is click on file, download and click PDF document here. 
and that will create a PDF document of your ebook, which you can now start selling online. Now, in terms of selling your ebook, there's a couple of different options. For me personally, I recommend Gumroad because it's free. You can create a sales page in seconds and start selling it immediately. Now to create a sales page, let's just say it's this sales page here. You create the sales page and then when somebody purchases your products, they will click here, they will put on their email address and then they will pay. And once they've paid, it will send them to a separate page and on that page, you will add a link to this PDF document, which is your ebook. So once they purchase it, they can access the ebook like this and start reading it straight away. And it's literally as simple as that. A lot of people do complicate this process of actually selling an ebook, but this is all you need to do. Create a sales page, and then when somebody pays, you literally give them access to this link and they can get the ebook and start reading the ebook straight away. So, in order to start generating sales for your ebook, you need views and traffic. There's three different ways to generate traffic. Number one, you've got paid traffic. Number two, you've got free traffic. And number three, organic traffic. In terms of paid traffic, of course, you would use ads on Meta or Facebook or Instagram. In terms of free traffic, I actually created this video recently about 12 websites that you can use to get free traffic for your digital products. These websites have a total of over 500 million views, so I suggest you watch this video because you'll find it useful. And organic traffic, you simply generate organic traffic, simply start sharing content based on topics related to your ebook, such as how to's and valuable advice and tips and tricks, etc. And then by posting this content, this will attract your ideal customers that want to buy your ebook. If you sell an ebook for $20, all you need is 1,000 views per day to your sales page at a 1% conversion rate. This converts to 10 sales, which will make you $100 per day. Now, if you want to make $200 per day, you even need to get 2,000 views or you can get 1,000 views at a 2% conversion rate, which will convert to 20 sales and $200 per day. Now, when you start to look at it from this perspective, you start to realize the type of money that you can make selling digital products. And the game is literally to create a valuable product and then start generating as much traffic as possible to generate sales. Views equal traffic, traffic equals sales. And it's as literally as simple as that. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. And I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.